Hey guys, Nikau is in Fiji at an island called Tabiuni and it's blowing pretty hard actually. They have like an eight day blow here where it's like 35 knots. And so we're gonna take off from here and on this episode we're hoping to go to the Lao group which is a very remote, amazing group of islands. Check this out. Oh my goodness. This was like 80 Fijian dollars. That's like 60 New Zealand bucks for all of that. We're going to be doing a lot of beach barbecues. We're with a whole bunch of different kid boats. So we're having so much fun. You're going to love this episode. Uh, before we get into it, I want to show you what we've been doing on the Rainbow Reef. It's like in the top five dive sites in the world. Check out some of our diving. amazing dive, hope you enjoyed it, I think the footage kind of came out right but they were really deep dives and it's difficult to get those colours that are in the coral and man are the colours spectacular, the soft corals, we did that white wall dive which is one of the, like I said, one of the top five in the world. And Bella's got some news! Yeah I got certified here at Paradise Dive Resort and I'm real stoked to have my official dive licence and I guess I'll be doing a lot more diving now. What are you cooking Bella? Oh, um, a salad for a beach barbecue. This is a baby corn. So we've come up to the um, north of Taviuni. We did stop halfway up to go into the town for supplies, and we got met with quite an angry local on the beach who decided that we were not allowed to be here, which we legally are. Um, so that wasn't a very pleasant experience, but so we've continued on up and found a much nicer beach anyway. 
beach barbecue with some friends and I think we'll catch a taxi into the town from here tomorrow. We're up near the airport. And then heading off to the Laos soon, hopefully. Kids are getting into some coconuts here. Having a pretty cool time at the beach barbecue. And uh, some kids are getting super local on it. Check this out. Someone way up there. Got a bit of husking action. Pretty good. It's got the machete. Every sailor needs a machete. Don't slide, man. I wrecked my um, legs doing that. Take it real slow. Not very rolly in here. Pretty excited about checking it out. It's kind of difficult laying anchor. There's like sand and coral. And so what you do in those sort of situations is you float a few fenders to keep your chain off that coral. Friends are coming into the bay. It's a pretty tight bay. And I think we'll all fit in here, so sweet. We're just having a go at making some saltwater cheese. So if you take a look, we're just trying to catch the curdles because we boiled the salt and the cheese. Milk, I think it was milk. Salt, water, and milk. Yep. Not yeah. salt and milk, right? What, that is salt and milk, kind of. And then you're going to sieve it out, and then what are you going to do? Oh, we strain yeah. it through some Yeah, like really water. ice cold water. Ice cold water. So our experiment with salt water cheese actually turned out really well, surprisingly. Here it is. It's really similar to ricotta. It was beautiful, crumbled on uh, toast with some salsa, olive oil, salt and pepper on top. Taste great. This is important because cheese costs a fortune here. It costs like $30 Fijian a block, which is just ridiculous. So being able to make our own cheese is an amazing discovery. We are still here in a beautiful Ma Tangi, which is actually in this book that we own called A Thousand Places to See Before You Die. Gorgeous horseshoe bay, beautiful white sandy beach private island so it's been nice to explore that but we are off again we are now going to the next island over Gamia to stop off before we have some good wind for the Laos in the next few days. Caught a couple of fish on the way here to Gamia and uh, we're doing a little bit of washing getting ready for our trip to the Laos. I'm gonna throw the drone up because this is just beautiful Fiji is just full of, I mean, 333 islands. None of them have disappointed so far. They are just absolutely stunning. Check it out.
Miami is a pretty beautiful island. We're really enjoying our stay here. We do have to get up really early in the morning though. I've been looking at the weather, which I do on PredictWind um, app, and it's sort of shifting around. At the moment, it's kind of, um, you know, like roaring in towards us, which would be a real upwind sail. Bang, 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 just sort of bashing away. But tomorrow morning, it comes around, and uh, we can do a nice light sail. 12 knots, that means if we're sailing, uh, our parent wind will be about sort of like 16 knots into wind um, which would be quite fun and that's a bit of a reach. This is where I edit and uh, I'm thinking that I've still got reception here so I can upload this vlog so I'm not going to take you guys to the Lao group on this episode. I'm sorry I know I said that I was going to. That'll have to wait and uh, we're going to be in the Lao for a couple of weeks so not quite sure when we're going to have a reception, so that might be all from us for a few weeks. Hope you enjoy this episode, guys. Mm -hmm.